Since the creation of the SAS in World War II, the unit has been the United Kingdom's rapid response force for hostile attacks within the British borders. Over the past few decades, the SAS has continued to adapt and improve its readiness to respond to spontaneous attacks in the UK. Stay tuned as we take an in-depth look at the setup and the operations of the SAS on home soil. The SAS is home to four Sabre Squadrons, A Squadron, B Squadron, D Squadron, and G Squadron. These teams take it in turn to perform a six-month term on counterterrorism duties. While the squadron remains at SAS headquarters in Hereford, there have been a number of cases where members of the squadron have been placed closer to potential terrorist hotspots, such as London or Manchester. This is often the result of intelligence gained from the UK Security Service, indicating that an attack on home soil is highly likely or is the direct result of an event being held in Britain, such as the Olympics or a royal wedding. The SAS also have extra tools at their disposal to aid them in responding to domestic terror situations. For transport across the country, the SAS have a number of unmarked vehicles fitted with emergency equipment such as lights and sirens, which allow them to travel by road without being impeded by traffic. The regiment also has a fleet of aircraft such as Dolphin helicopters, better known as Blue Thunder, and more recently, B-22 Ospreys. These aircraft allow the team to touch down quickly, even in busy cities. Whilst on counterterrorism rotation, the squadron is kept busy with daily training in CQB and Haas' rescue scenarios to keep them at the highest level if needed. As well as the iconic SAS Kill House, the team also have at their disposal buses and aircraft to practice on in the event of a Haas' rescue being needed on a mode of transport. In 1980, their training and preparedness was put to the test after the Iranian embassy in London was taken over by six armed men. In response to the call for help from Downing Street, B Squadron jumped into their unmarked vehicles and made their way by road to the capital. Local police forces from Hereford to London were told that multiple vans and SUVs would be moving in convoy at speed towards London and were not to be stopped or impeded in any way. After arriving in London, B Squadron quickly drafted up a plan to move in and rescue the hostages if needed. Over the coming days, as more information became available, the plan was refined and tested until, on the sixth day of the siege, the SAS was given the go-ahead to execute on the embassy. Thankfully, their training paid off, and the operation was an overwhelming success, leading to the international praise for the regiment and placed them as the go-to unit for Haas' rescue. Since 1980, the SAS have continued to improve their response to terror threats in the UK. In 2000, the SAS was once again called in to respond after an airplane was hijacked and subsequently landed at Stanson Airport, and again in 2005 after the tragic 7-7 bombings took place in London. More recently, the SAS have been spotted assisting local counterterrorism police up and down the country in response to terror incidents, such as the London Bridge attack and the bombing attempt on a hospital in Liverpool. In 2017, after the Manchester Arena attack at an Ariana Grande concert, members of 2-2 SAS were spotted conducting multiple raids in the surrounding area alongside Manchester Police CTSFOs. The troopers were even spotted supporting police patches in an attempt to disguise who they were, although most people saw straight through it. In today's world, as troop numbers shrink and as local police forces continue to develop their own hostage rescue capabilities, People have begun to question if the SAS will always be the ones to answer the call in the event of a terror attack in the UK. However, whilst the amount of troopers on standby in the UK may decrease, there is little doubt as to who will always remain the ace up the British government's sleeve in the event the UK ever comes under the threat on its own soil. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what videos you would want to see next.